Preppers versus panic buyers. What's the difference? Why should you care? Which one are you? Well, odds are if you hear COVID and you run to the store and you buy all the toilet paper and the bottled water, you're probably in the second category, which is panic buyers. If you've already got enough toilet paper at home to last you till they get it back on the shelf, you're in the prepper category. When and how you stock up matters. Uh, you know, preppers are good and liked by the store because we stay stocked up so we increase that store's bottom line and we don't need to be a part of the problem when they have a panic buy. Uh, panic buyers just think they're going to get everything they need when they realize that they need it and therefore increase that problem over at the stores. So how exactly does this work with the shopping? You buy a little bit more each time instead of just buying the few things that you need for that week. You're going to want to buy a little extra to put back. So you're going to probably visit the store a little bit more often, buy a little bit more, which steadily is a little bit more revenue for the store, and that additional food and supplies goes to your stockpile. That way, when there is a panic buy, you can continue to sit home watching TV. The panic buyers, on the other hand, they have to say, honey, one of us needs to go to the store and get some things. And then 15 minutes later on, honey, why are you all beat up? Where are the things here that we needed? Well, he lost the mosh pit is what happened. Why be in the mosh pit at all? Uh, buying a little bit and stocking up incrementally. So as you make a shopping trip, you buy a little extra. You buy you know, you see something on sale. It's particularly sales really help us. You know, I wouldn't necessarily stock up on something when it's priced really high. You know, you wait till it goes on sale, and yeah, sure, you know, buy two packs of toilet paper. See if it's still on sale later on that week. Buy two more. You know, you now have what you need for a little while. Goes on sale again, just buy a few more. Uh, but particularly with food, toilet paper is not the biggest thing. I mean, I'm joking about that because we recently did have big panic buys across the country on that. And that's the reason why I'm using toilet paper. But it's about buying incrementally. It's about buying a small amount uh, and just letting that build up, letting that accumulate as you continue to buy those you know, few cases of what you need and then you go back and catch it on sale again and you just buy it usually while it's on sale is the best time to do it if it goes up to a really high price you don't have to worry about buying it because you've already got 50 cases at home maybe you aren't stocked up that much but you know hopefully you've built up something so that way you don't have to pay a really high price you've already bought you know ammo while I was there that way when there's an ammo shortage when they start charging through the roof for ammunition, you've already you're already sitting on what you need, and you don't need to pay those prices. So gradually stocking up, not just waiting till you need it, but look at what you need now and stock up initially. Thank you for watching.